Hi, everybody. Welcome to Storytime with Miss J. If you're having an amazing Friday, scream really loud so I can hear you, okay? One, two, three. Oh, oh my goodness. Everyone's having an amazing Friday. Now, I'm Miss J, but I want to know all of your names. Say your name really loud so Shimmer and I can hear it, okay? One, two, three. Okay, so we have oh, Cindy and Haley, oh, and Chloe and Michelle and Hazel and Josh and Helene, oh, and Stacy, oh, and Shelby, oh, and Andrew and Trevor. Oh, I'm so glad that all of you and more could come today. Friday is my favorite day of the week because I get to spend the whole afternoon reading amazing stories to you. Now, let's all say hi to Shimmer. One, two, three. Hi, Shimmer! Say it really loud. Hi, Shimmer! Hello, everyone! I hope everyone's having an amazing Friday. I'm so excited to be here again. I wonder what book we're reading. We are reading ADHD and Kids Like Me by Annette Fournier. What does ADHD mean, Miss J? Well, Shimmer, that's a very good question. Let me put you back there. ADHD stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It's a medical condition. A person with ADHD has differences in brain development and brain activity that affects attention, the ability to sit still and self-control. ADHD can affect a person at school, at home, and in friendships. Do you know anyone with ADHD, Miss J? I actually do know someone with ADHD. I actually know a few people with ADHD. I, myself, Miss J, have ADHD. But I have a specific type of ADHD, which is called inattentive ADHD, which used to be called ADD. Now, you're all thinking, what does ADHD mean? And what do you mean by these different types, Miss J? Well, I'll give you a quick little definition so I won't bore you with the details, but it's important to know these things. So we have the first type, which is hyperactivity and impulsive ADHD. So usually when you think of a boy that's like bouncing his leg or going everywhere and being all hyper and on and impulsivity and blah, 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 people say the joke like, oh, look, a squirrel, like that. So kind of like distractibility, impulsivity, hyperactivity. And then we have the second one, which is inattentive ADHD, which is what I have and which kind of most girls have, which kind of makes it hard to diagnose and see if a girl's struggling or not. But hopefully, by telling you guys this, you'll be more aware. So, inattentive means kind of lack of focus and attention. And so maybe, you know, if you're sitting right by a window, at least for me, I would space out and I, I lose things and I start something, but then I don't really finish it. So stuff like that. Um, and then the third one, which is a combined one. So your hyperactivity, lack of focus, well, spacey ball, all that. So you're probably thinking, ADHD, oh, that sounds so bad. Well, it's actually not. Most days can be challenging. But if you work hard, either take medication like Miss J does, or go to um, a coach, or, you know, sometimes diet helps, it really helps you get through the day. And I know exercise, anyone, even when they have a disability or not, is always really helpful for exerting energy. And so the fun fact about ADHD is, a lot of performers and artists and even CEOs and doctors and teachers have ADHD. Because of our fast brain and our impulsivity, we're able to change subjects and problem solve. But then because we're really sensitive, we're able to show compassion for people. And so we're really good caretakers. So even though, yes, ADHD can be a challenge, there's also a lot of good stuff about it. Now, the important thing to remember, the last thing, I know we'll get to the book, don't worry, but the most important thing to remember is ADHD is different for each person. For example, two boys may have ADHD, but they could behave completely different. And the same goes for girls. So 
Just like anyone with a disability, we just want to be understood and be treated nicely with respect and equally. But parents, if you want to do more research on that, so you can have a conversation with your child so they'll, you know, can be ready for when they meet people like that, you can always go to either Chad or ADD Etude Magazine and get more information. Now, on to the book, ADHD and Kids Like Me by Annette Fournier. ADHD and Kids Like Me. Is your body always bursting with too many wiggles? When you try to pay attention, does your brain start to jiggle? Sometimes, do you forget to listen when other people talk? Maybe you want to jump and run when others want to walk? People may not understand why you have so much energy or why it can be hard for you to sit patiently. Sometimes it seems like no one gets how hard it can be. But I understand what it feels like because I have ADHD. Whenever people talk a lot, my mind starts to wander. I have so many ideas. There are a million things to ponder. Like getting called to save the world from a bad guy? I'd run out of school and go flying through the sky. I can be a hero when I'm playing around at home. But at school, I get in trouble when my thoughts start to roam. My teacher says, you must listen and follow the instructions. But my brain can't slow down enough to make all the deductions. I can't keep track of all the things I lose. My pencils and my lunchbox, my bag and books and shoes. It's hard remembering so many things at school. Sometimes I even forget to obey a couple rules. But I have a secret to tell you. I have a hidden identity. I put on my mask and cape and become Captain ADHD. As Captain ADHD, I can hyper-focus for hours on things that really interest me. That's my superpower. When I hyper-focus, nothing gets in my way. My laser vision helps to keep distractions away. But that's not all I can do as Captain ADHD. My amazing brain has super strength and creativity. I'm like a lightning bolt, zap, full of hypersonic energy. I can run so fast I disappear with my invisibility. So now I want to know, what makes you special too? What are your superpowers that make you super you? All of us are super kids in each our own way. And since we're superheroes, we can always save the day. On the days it's hard to focus and manage my ADHD, there are tools I use to train my brain to work more easily. A therapist taught me tricks to keep track of many things, like making lists or doing my homework when my alarm pings. I can ask for help if there's something I don't understand or study with a friend who can give me a hand. Some days my energy can be a challenge without a doubt, but I can learn the right times to keep it in and let it out. Though it's hard sometimes to calm my mind and body, I just use my slow down freezing ray to calm myself, you see. I don't mind my ADHD, I can say with pride, because the most important thing is who I am inside. So be happy just the way you are. It is great to be an awesome, amazing super kid like me with ADHD. And the end. So again, this was ADHD and Kids Like Me by Annette Fournier. So I picked this book actually recently. And there actually isn't a lot of books about ADHD like this, a picture book. And so when I saw it online, I was like, I have to buy it. And so it's always important to take time to understand different people and different disabilities and just try to be understanding next week's book. So. 
this one doesn't really have a theme, but I just wanted to read a book that had just two friends going on a secret shortcut. This book was actually one of my favorite books growing up. I love this book so much that it is falling apart. So that should just tell you how awesome this book is. Thank you so much for joining me again on this wonderful Friday. And also please feel free to check out my other videos of the other books that I've read because they're about diversity and inclusion and different communities. And they're just really fun children's stories. Until next time, have a great rest of your Friday weekend and have an awesome next week.